Hey guys, and welcome. So, today we have a very special thing to talk about. Gobblegum is one of the highest selling points, some would say, of BO6 entirely. So, BO6 returned the Gobblegum system with a little bit of a change. Before, you would get these liquid diviniums to spend on um, a little machine that would spin for Gobblegums. Now, you just earn Gobblegums in a variety of one to three at a time. You could get I don't think I've gotten a repeat, but usually what happens is I'll get three different ones. It seems to be random, but some people have many theories. But finally, a YouTuber dropped a video discussing on how, through math and through his estimations and tons of research he did over a 24-hour period of in-game time. That's very important. In-game time. So this means he sat down. And only counted the time where he was playing for 24 hours and tracked his gobblegum rates, what he got, to see if there was any outliers, any special methods. And he kind of like debunked a lot of conspiracy theories and a lot of thoughts that I even personally believed. And this is the YouTuber uh, Donuts, not spelled the exact same way, but I will link his video in his channel in the description. Please go watch it. I will only break down um, basically the cliff notes, but please go watch his entire 30 minute video I did, and it's very informative. For you to find out how he got these numbers and the amount of effort that he put in to get these numbers it's nothing to like not pay attention to very impressive and i thank him for the hours that he put in as he sounded exhausted just in the video alone as you can tell he'd been doing this for a long long time but we're going to cover the cliff notes here so myth number one is that high rounds equal higher rarity gobble gums now he obviously has two different um, formulas here. So he has the double gobble gums as well as the regular. And he found in none of those did that equal the same. Basically, what he found is that gobble gum earn rate is tied to playtime. Now, not just simply playtime where you can sit and train for three hours, because what happens is that you have to hit a playtime threshold. But to keep it to where you couldn't just roam around for 20 minutes or 30 minutes is you needed to hit a XP counter or XP maybe a minimum. We don't know for sure how it tracks it, but it is definitely tracked where you cannot just run around for 30 minutes and then the next round you're going to get a gobble gum. What you have to do, the only way that he thinks and what I agree with is the most logical way is there's an XP or maybe just a kill counter per round for you to... Uh, pass on like it's it's very weird he can describe it better than i can but it is time based as he found that it, they're the gobble gums are not attached to rounds in general not just high rounds and high rates of gobble gums or the rare ones not tied together at all now just to keep in mind with these 24 hours he's over a prestige so he clearly is leveling up and he found that you know those aren't tied together your level um, and there was another theory that inside each rarity, so like blue, purple, um, gold, and the ultras, the reds, that in that, I guess, category or that class, that there were a separate number of rarities for those. So like, let's just say that Perkaholic was the rarest out of the ultras and that um, near death was the least rare. So like they had their own rarities inside their own uh, rarity of classes, which I never believed anyway, because I always heard people saying Soda Fountain was the hardest to get. But if I were to look at my purples, they're pretty spread out to like a degree where you're like, yeah, that makes sense. Like I'm not earning like 30 um, Soda Fountains in like four anywhere but here's, you know what I mean? I, I don't even know where right here is in a purple. But I'm just thinking off the top of my head. They all seem to be pretty fairly uh, spread out. The only ones that actually aren't pretty spread out for me are the Ultras, but basically in his gameplay, with all of his 24 hours of gameplay, he discovered that that is not true and that he actually would, was breaking down that they were all pretty even for him. So for him as well, uh, he was getting them the same. And if you guys didn't know this, in Black Ops 4, there was a correlation between how many rounds you would play, uh, as well as Black Ops 3 correlation of rounds you would play. In Black Ops 3, it was usually around 3 Three round, not three rounds, sorry. Seven rounds for Black Ops 3 where you could eventually go purchase something and you could earn a liquid divinium. And eventually, in Black Ops 4, 
it was around every three to four rounds, or I think it might have been even five, you would earn a Nebulian Plasma, which was used for the Elixir system. Now here, it is not round-based, so they swish it up. And I think it's better this way, and I think he just, and he discussed this in his video as well, and I think it makes sense this way, where people who are casual players and do not want to go to high rounds, right? Or don't have time to commit, even with the save and quit, they don't have time, and the game isn't easy high rounds. It, it takes a challenge. So they don't want to like lock those players out from earning those Ultra Gobble Gums. So it makes sense that the Treyarch would not do this. And they have never come out and said that this is like the way to earn Gobble Gums is to do this method. So this has all been speculation. But this is the first chart I've seen of somebody doing this. So maybe this could be disproven later, but more people need to do research. But this is the only guy who did this. He literally dropped this yesterday. So this is our first bit of evidence, and I'm sure Milo is going to lose his mind over this because I'm sure Milo, Milo loves numbers, so. The only down part about Milo is that he's British, but anyway. Obviously, gums are not tied to rounds or XP, but there is a belief to be an XP minimum for you to count so that you're not just AFK farming the gums, which makes sense because they want you to play the game. And he also discovered there was another myth that the Rampage Inducer um, would decrease the amount of gums you earn because you're playing the game faster uh he did not find that to be the case at uh he said he was still earning them at the same rate so maybe there's a little bit of a equalizer there because even though it is time based but maybe it's just the time he's playing as he found that usually he was getting gums around round 7 to 15 and then getting them again at like round 28 30 and then again at around 50 ish so I guess it all depends. He did not find there be any thing correlated between if you get one gum, two gum, three gums. It's just that he seems that to be random. And he also brought up something interesting that he didn't come to a uh, direct conclusion, but I think I have an idea. So he says sometimes he'd be playing on round two and he'd just get a gobble gum around two. Now clearly, like he says in the video, he didn't do anything to necessarily get playtime to earn that. So I think what happens is it actually will carry over from game to game. So let's say, um, I'm on round 30 and I should get a gum within the next round, but I exfil, so I don't get it. I think the game tracks it for me and like kind of just carries it over. That way I'm still getting gums at a constant rate so I don't feel discouraged and I keep playing the game, if that makes sense. And he also brought up that he's randomly finds that he'll sometimes get back-to-back -back rounds with gobble gums. And he came to a conclusion, which I also agree with, me and him seem to have the same idea here, is that while you are on a trajectory to earn gobble gums at a certain rate, you are also randomly given a gobble gum to also kind of keep you in that dopamine happy state where you're like, oh, cool. Like I just got back to my gobble gums. Like I'm, you feel like a little bit of dopamine hit your brain and you're like, I wanna keep playing. Now that's just a theory. A game theory but these are the numbers i've seen and that he has found himself completely on his i don't know if he had a team or it's completely on his own but i'm giving credit to his youtube channel so if you want to watch his full breakdown and him explain it way better than i ever could check out his video in the description check out his channel leave a little sub and a comment saying that you came for me uh, and that you came for me pause no diddy jk i love you guys hope you guys enjoyed the video Good luck trying to maybe change up your methods here. Um, that's going to be it for this video. I have another video coming out shortly this week. Peace out, guys. Love you. Hope you guys get all types of luck for your gobble gums. Bye-bye.